Uh, okay, um, I got through my section. Uh, I'm going to hand it off to our first uh, guest uh, today, and that's Bogdan Volodarsky uh, from Provectus. Uh, just one thing on Provectus, like they, they're a, a consulting group that works in, I'm, hopefully I don't butcher this, I'm going to go on the hip, uh, in, uh, in, in data engineering, and they, and they have a strong focus in data quality. We highly, highly recommend them for hands-on services for implementing great expectations and, and helping with data quality. So uh, feel free to connect with Bogdan. And I think Alexi is, is in here too. Um, you'll see them in the Slack support as well. They're super, super helpful. Uh, so yeah, Provex is excellent. I, I couldn't re recommend them more. So I'll uh, hand it off to you, Bogdan, uh, presenting a data quality comparison on AWS Blue. And great expectations uh, updated. This was recently updated to the VTR copy and pasted the the uh, the blog. But yeah, it was updated uh, to V3. It was originally V2. So thanks for updating that. And I'll hand it off to you. Yeah. Hey, Dol. Um, yeah. So. Uh... Let me start today. Uh, I will tell you about uh, this theme on my display, uh, but uh, not a, a lot from a code side, maybe uh, because you can found this in a, a great expectations documentation or in my article, uh, but more about uh, some motivation, approach, and architecture. So let's start. Uh, here on the screen, uh, you see our typical implementation of uh, data quality approach. And first of all, we need to explain uh, why we exactly need to use GLUE uh, in this case. Uh, goals our discovery was uh, that uh, Lambda works great, but uh, as a compute engine, yeah, uh, but uh, not. Uh, well when you work with a really big data so it's related more uh, everyday testing for example uh, if you have a new transaction from cdc if you migrate database to cloud or something like that uh, or when your database is not so big uh, and each uh, data source file or table is uh, less than uh, one gigabyte um, and we call this approach uh, continuous data validation. So how you can see, we use here uh, Pandas profiling to generate uh, some suits on fly and uh, great expectation as a data quality tool uh, on a Lambda as a compute engine. And uh, end point of this is a uh, S3 as a report storage and um, DynamoDB as a metadata storage. After that, you can uh, visualize, uh, for example, in a quick site if you're working with uh, AWS. So, and uh, the challenges. Uh, however, if uh, these constraints, I mean, uh, Lambda constraints break, uh, the data quality process will not happen uh, because of uh, pandas memory error. Uh, I mean, uh, when you try to uh, read or compute some really big data, uh, if, for example, uh, more than one gigabyte, uh, Lambda will show you this error. And no one engine which tries to easily change pandas uh, is not working in that case. I mean, uh, some dask or something like that uh, and in this case when your database or data lake is big and you want uh, not to set up only daily testing but uh, to know the quality of your data each time uh, when you want to do it for example once per month or once uh, per week in that case obviously you need to analyze uh, all data which is stored at uh, your data source. Uh, also, when we're talking about some ETL processes, uh, after crawling raw data, uh, we all have often uh, have some transformation step, uh, which may be a catalyzer of a bait data. And we want to test uh, data after every step, each step. Uh, 
so we call this uh, consistency check. It uh, includes also a step of comparing data. And just imagine um, how to hard to do it uh, with uh, uh, how to how to hard to do it uh, for a compute machine with a big amount of data. So uh, the answer for all this is a uh, Apache Spark. Uh, yeah. Uh, and let's uh, dip to data comparison. Uh, I saw actually a lot of questions at the uh, Great Expectation community chat uh, about how to compare two data sets and something like that. Uh, so here I try to explain the uh, same approach, which you can find at official uh, Great Expectation documentation. Uh, but I came here separately from, I think, Great Expectation team. Uh, so terminology may be different. Uh, the main idea about that that you need to have a uh, some uh, golden data set we call it producer. Uh, for example, in ITL uh, pipelines terminology, it may be raw data uh, and generate test uh, based on it. Then run against on it, uh, and uh, after that you can uh, run this tests against your target data set, for example, transforming data. So, I mean, you run the same test uh, to a both data sources, consumer and producer. Uh, after that, uh, you can also run some comparison tool if you want to see some additional information. Uh, and uh, to have access to all reports uh, after that, uh, steps you need to implement some uh, metadata storage uh, in a BI dashboard. Uh, sure, uh, also you can implement some logic to notify someone if they are not compare after test run. I mean, data sets. Yeah, this is uh, how our real uh, project implemented solution looks like. Uh, I need to uh, mention some. A uh, little agenda about this project, uh, and some ML engineers uh, spent a lot of time using pandas. But uh, when data is grow too much, uh, and the computer machines could not calculate all necessary things for acceptable time, uh, then they rewrite all the algorithms using uh, Apache Spark engine. But they weren't sure how it works good or bad, and they come to us with the idea that they want um, to use pandas as a golden data set and Spark as a target. And the goal was uh, to compare quality. So it's a typical case of our compute com producer consumer approach. Uh, and you see this pipeline on the screen. So short uh, explaining uh, on the first step, we run some profiler. You can use pandas profiling or native uh, great expectation profiler. Also, it's I think now it's uh, good. We also try to use it. Uh, then you generate these tests on um, some golden data sets. How I said before, uh, on fly. In that case, uh, then you profile uh, your Spark um, data frame. Uh, you also can use uh, the boss uh, tools as a pandas profiling or great expectation native uh, and run this prepared or cooked test on a new data set. Uh, and after that, we also run a great tool as a data compile. Uh, uh, just a couple of words about that. It's uh, some comparison open source tool, which can show you all necessary information about scheme, changing data types, and row counts, we use this for, yeah, how I said, for additional information besides uh, just data quality count uh, to know the root of the problem if it happens. Yeah, and here you can see just uh, typical reports. Yeah, it's data compile. Uh, and after that, uh, we decided to discover some new opportunity for using Spark and Great Expectation. Uh, and uh, I need to tell why. Yeah. Uh, how I understand, 
it's using MRR, it's more suitable uh, to data quality approach because uh, as uh, AWS recommended to use glue to more analytics work, not for computing, but MRR, it's more about computing. And uh, as a result, MRR uh, cheaper than glue. So uh, you see here on the screen the uh, reference architecture, how it looks like and how you can use it, how we can implement. Uh, it's a new feature, uh, EMR serverless. So um, you don't, uh, um, it allows not to waste uh, so much time to launch uh, clusters and etc. It works with the same as a group principle uh, app, compute and down. You don't lose money for Idle state too. Uh, unfortunately, for creating the same pipeline as you can create with uh, glue, uh, not so easy because I don't know why, but uh, they not implemented uh, this serverless MR to step functions pipeline yet. And now we need to um, invest some new way here. I don't want to read from uh, slides all steps. So it's just you need to use uh, from Lambda uh, Bota Free library uh, to call uh, MR serverless job and tag it with uh, some uh, task token. If you're familiar with step functions in Lambda, you should understand what I'm talking about. And after that, just to, to subscribe to Event Bridge. Yeah. Um, all this thing, I think, for great expectation integration with MR serverless already in the documentation, how I guys said, so you can read and try to do it to yourself. Uh, also, last thing I want to talk about, uh, at Provectus, we released uh, some Terraform model, uh, which deploy all necessary infrastructure with Lambda, S3, and DynamoDB. Uh, it's built on top of great expectation. Uh, so architecture, you can, can see on the second slide, this one. So it's already uh, uh, will deploy it by one click in a, with a Terraform model and you can start uh, your data quality in your new projects. Yeah, so I think it's short uh, demo. Uh, that's all for today. And I hope uh, you will have uh, some questions for me. Uh, a little bit nervous. <laughs> Great job, Bogdan. Uh, that was excellent. And do you, do you um, have these slides hosted or maybe uh, I could I could download them and host them. We'll make sure that people can, because these are great slides. That uh, can, uh, yeah, I will share with you. After. Sure, yeah. And I'll, I'll attach them to the video and, and share them out with, with people after. Uh, really cool. I saw data, data compiles by the uh, Capital One group, which is interesting. It seems like they do a lot of, of open source work, um, uh, which, is, which is cool. I wonder, yeah. Uh, yeah, if we can do something with their with that project. Could could you say again what was the piece of uh, that uh, for uh, why do you use data compi? Um, some clients want to see. Uh, so not not in that way. I need to formulate um, clients come to us and said, hey, I want to compare our data sets. Mm -hmm. And they don't understand that it's very hard to yeah, run a big, uh, mm -hmm. real big data and compute it. So uh, this data compile allows to you run it very simple and with Spark engine. And they just print you some short information, short description about your data sets comparing. And it's very native. I think so. With great expectation, we take a data quality and with data compile some other information. Very cool. Yeah, really interested in that. Um, does anyone help, 
else have any other questions? Uh, and, and also feel free to, to use the chat as well. Uh, if not, oh, does anyone have any questions? Okay, all right. Thanks so much, Bogdan. Uh, again, definitely check out Prevectus uh, if you need more hands-on work uh, with, with implementing great expectations. Um, they're really great. Uh, keep putting out awesome content about great expectations.